steered me along. Oh my gosh. Well, it almost feels like a winter night finally here in the winter of 2024 here. Mid-January, it is Wednesday, January 17th, 2024, somewhere around there. So anyway, what can we rant about today? There are so many rants built into this one, but uh, I think we're going to rant about limp dick lefties today. It's uh, This all started with this thing that... Uh, our good friend, Sister Sandy, who is, I don't think, uh, I, I'm not quite ready to call uh, Sandy Shellis a, a limp dick lefty. You're, you're, you're running up on it, girl. Not quite. Sandy has a little bit of blood left in the but anyway, Sandy started all this out today by sending out to uh, me and a few other people, Elliot Jacobson and Fat Boy and uh, me and a couple of other uh, assumedly lefties, this uh, pretty good satire from this fellow named Dash McIntyre. This was an essay he actually wrote back in October, so it's a few months old. <coughs> and I'm just going to read uh, a few parts of it. I'm not going to get in, into the middle of it, because I do appreciate good satire. And then we're going to uh, break this down here. Take it away, dash. Liberal man turns 70 says he is ready to become an angry, racist Republican. Yes, local Miami resident Hank Chapman turns 70 years old today and says he's old enough now to convert from Democrat to Republican and become a grumpy geezer who hates change. Quote, they always say that people start off as bleeding heart liberals and then become heartless conservatives when they get older, said Chapman. Quote, and now that I'm 70, I suppose it's my turn to keep up this timeless tradition. So from now on, I'm just going to start publicly ranting to anyone around me about ethnic and religious minorities, feminists, Millennials, Gen Z, the volume of my neighbor's music, diner waitresses who should smile more, craft beer, there's one, people who dye their hair, <coughs> no comment, Sandy, gender crossing fashion statements, food not being hot enough or having enough salt, social media beyond Facebook, electric cars, QR codes, all the apps I have to download now to do anything and everything new that did not exist when I was a kid. Yes, to enact this lifestyle change, Chapman recently changed his voting party affiliation from Democrat to Republican. And then it goes from there, and it, it, it is pretty funny here in the middle, talking about all of these, uh, these right-wing conspiracy theories. And I actually know people who believe some of this shit, uh, and, and you know, when uh, Dash really goes crazy, sounding like he's making this shit up. He's not making this shit up. But anyway, I just want to... So, we're, we're, towards the end, you, you know, he's going back to this 70-year-old angry white man. Of course, you know, I'm six years from that. And uh, let's see. Continuing his rant, no one wants to work anymore. You can't compliment women anymore. You can't tell jokes anymore. Cancel culture. 
critical race theory woke and the usual list of uh, you, you know of, of rants uh, ascribed I guess to right wing Republican racist angry old white men and uh so what was Elliot what was your comment uh on all of this uh <clears throat> Elliot's com Elliot Jacobs' comment fucking seventy year old white men we'll just have to see what happens to Sam. We'll just, you know, I, I, I guess in six years, my response back to Elliot, what happens to Sam? I've been ranting about everything he mentioned since I was 12. Man. <laughs> and, 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 and there you go. So uh, this is, you know, the, the fundamental flaw in this is what Dash and, and all of these fucking little limp dick lefties just, just fail to understand that if you have not drained all of the blood out of your fucking dick, if you call yourself a lefty and, and can still get a fucking hard on uh, about shit, then I, then I guess you're a right-wing racist Republican. Uh, it, it, it's not that, uh, it, it, it's not that as I get older, uh, that this old, uh, and, and, and I still, I still, for some reason, call myself a lefty. I am still a lefty. I just happen to be a lefty who still has some fucking blood in his dick. Okay? It's not that I'm going to the right. It's just that I refuse to let my fucking dick shrivel up. You know, like all these other fucking little lefties with their fucking woke and their fucking critical race theory, I am so glad to report, I still have no fucking clue what critical race theory is. I am proud to be a card-carrying member uh, of the former uh, hard-dicked lefties who don't know, who don't give a fuck what critical race theory is. Right? Who don't give a fuck that these whiny little trannies want me to change the fucking English language. Alright? I don't have a problem with fucking trannies. I have a problem with them wanting to change the English language so I don't fucking offend them. All right? Is there anything that, that you don't understand about this? Uh, the, the, these, these fucking little limp dicks. You, you know, when did all of this shit begin? You know, I remember I, I first ran up uh, against the, the, the first emergence of limp dick lefties. You know, way back in 1983, you know, I, I was raised in the deep south in a very, I think my mama called herself a yellow dog liberal. I, you know, my, my mama just voted the straight Democrat ticket. Uh, I was raised in, in a very strong Democratic lefty household. I mean, you know, my oldest brother, he, he just votes the socialist ticket. Just right down. Doesn't even, doesn't even know anything about the candidates. He's going the full socialist ticket. Uh, so, this is what I was raised by. And so, 
I considered myself when uh, I finished graduate school at age 23 at the University of Florida to be a fucking lefty. I, I was I, I was a proud uh, what what I thought at that point. Uh, was an environmentalist, a social justice warrior, all of this shit. You know, so I move out to Santa Cruz, California, which is, you know, the epicenter uh, of the lefties. You know, we had a, a like, a, you know, a, an openly gay mayor. John Laird was a buddy of mine. Uh, you know, we had avowed socialists uh, on the city council and, and the board of supervisors, and I was working for this uh, this pinnacle uh, of lefty muckraking journalism uh, called the it was called the Santa Cruz Express was the name of this place. And so I get out there, it was all excited when I started, I was 24 years old. Uh, I, I, was, I was a muckraking left-wing uh, journalist, uh, you know, ready to conquer the fucking world. And what I started noticing pretty quickly is that a lot of these, a lot of these other lefties, <clears throat> they're particularly the feminists, uh, started having a big problem with me, that, uh, that, that I was ruffling their little lefty feathers, and uh, th there was a seven-member uh, board of directors on the newspaper, and uh, I was always the subject of their board meeting every month, uh, where it was all the vote was always four to three in, in favor of keeping me but three out of the seven of the board members wanted to kick me off uh for sitting there and blowing the whistle on these fucking lefties uh you, you know back in 1983 when, when i considered myself to be a pretty hardcore lefty thinking that that working for the fucking Santa Cruz Express that uh but 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 uh, that what that was where it all started it was Santa Cruz California uh in the mid 1980s it is when the blood started to drain out of these fucking lefties dicks i guess and, and, and it has just gone, uh, you know, down, spiraling down, down, down. You know, Chris Hedges was writing about the death of the liberal class. How many years ago was Chris Hedges uh, just giving up on these fucking little limp dick lefties? They're fucking embarrassing. And, and that was before... That was before fucking Corona panic and, and, and this whole Green New Deal shit. Uh, that that, that just absolutely fucking gutted the left. Uh, they, they've just turned into the biggest bunch of little limp dick pussies. Uh, you don't have to be a, a, a fucking... You know, Trump ass licking uh, Republican to to be to understand how fucking embarrassing these little I I guess and maybe it's when they started changing their names to progressive progressive my fucking ass. You know, the the the, the these little uh, fucking uh, PC cops. Uh, calling themselves uh, progressive. Oh, Jesus. And, and you know, in, in, in between the, the, the fucking corona panic uh, and, uh, and, and this Green New Deal bullshit uh, that these little limp dick lefties are spouting.
you, you know, it, it, as I say, it, it doesn't. It, 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 it doesn't make me want to run over and, and, and hang out with the fucking Trump tards. It's just like, oh my God, am I here all alone? Am I the only fucking lefty out there that still has some fucking blood in his dick or not? Is there anybody out there who, who can say amen, brother, that you're sick and tired of these fucking little limp dick lefties? And their little PC woke crap, their their fucking pronouns changing the goddamn English language because you don't want to offend some fucking little tranny. You know, get the fuck over it, you fucking little limp dicks. Get the fuck over yourself. You know, the fucking planet is burning. Fucking planet is fucking burning up. You're talking about your fucking pronouns. You know? When did this planet turn into such a bunch of fucking pussies? Anyway. Let's just look at a few of these specifics here. Uh, you, you know, starting out with the kind of the the non-political uh, stuff. Uh, hell yeah! Uh, it, it's time to start ranting about fucking feminist millennials, Gen Z. Uh, I was just ranting. You know, even that little ego pussy over at Collapse Chronicles. You know, was ranting about these fucking little, little crybaby, spoiled, brat, entitled millennials and Gen Z, uh, you know, whining why they can't afford to buy a fucking house. The reason you can't afford to buy a fucking house, you little whiny brat, is because you won't buy the fucking house uh, that your granddaddy or I guess your great-granddaddy uh, would have lived in. You don't want to work for a fucking living. Couldn't believe it that uh, I, I, you know, we're getting some work done on the furnace. Uh, I, I, I called this dude today and a fucking 24-year-old showed up uh, to do some fucking work around this trailer. 24 years old. Unfucking believable. Uh... <laughs> uh, he did get a laugh uh, when I was saying you are the first fucking person under 30 who has set foot in this fucking trailer you whiny little fucking brats get over yourselves craft beer don't get me fucking going don't get me fucking going uh, on craft beer uh I'm going to let people who dye their hair go by gender-crossing fashion statements. I think I've had a few rants about that. Uh, electric cars. If you rant about electric fucking cars, uh, according to this guy, even though it's satire, what he's saying, what this little limp dick lefty dash is saying, if you do rant about electric cars, you obviously are a fucking right-wing racist Trump-tard to question that fucking electric cars are saving this planet. These goddamn QR codes. Good God, how many fucking rants have I had about those fucking little squiggly fucking lines? Hell yeah! All the apps I have to download now to do a fucking thing? Do fucking anything! You, you gotta download a fucking app! You know, I remember ranting on the, on the, on the motherfucking Amtrak train. Uh, I was trying to buy a fucking hot dog. Okay? I'm trying to buy a fucking hot dog, uh, you know, a bag of potato chips, 
and I have to download a fucking app onto my smartphone to buy a fucking hot dog on an Amtrak train. Uh, you know, I, I, I said, are there any little limp dick lefties under the age of 22 who, who can help me buy a fucking hot dog on this train and half the fucking train stood up. I would have fucking starved to death if it wasn't for those goddamn limp dick little lefties downloading their fucking uh, Amtrak menu app uh, on their fucking smartphones. Jesus fucking Christ. Uh, yeah. Uh, no one wants to work anymore. Good God. You can't compliment women anymore. You know? What happened? Damn, darling. You've got some fucking nice tits on you, baby. You know? You're a misogynist. Uh, and I'm not, even, I'm not even a tit man. You, you know, uh, you, you say you like pussy. You're, you're a fucking misogynist because you use the word pussy. You, you know? Uh, <laughs> so now, any man who likes pussy is a fucking misogynist, uh, I, I, I guess. You can't compliment women. Uh, you can't tell them how good their fucking pussy feels. You can't tell jokes anymore. Jesus fucking Christ. Uh, and again, this critical race theory and this fucking woke. This fucking woke. Oh, uh, God. So as long as we're getting political, guys, I, 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 I'm, just, I, I'm just throwing it out there. You know, all of this fucking bitching that, that there is no alternative between, uh, you know, Joe Biden or Donald Trump. Frying pan fire. Uh, screwed. Fucked. You know, all of these things. There's just no alternative. There's a fucking Kennedy running uh, on the goddamn ballot. A fucking Kennedy. And, and you're talking like there's nobody else on the ballot. Uh, when we got the two, you know, even the, the, the fucking little limp dick lefties who understand that Joe fucking Biden, uh, you know what a fucking joke that is. Uh, they act like, uh, uh, there, there, there's no fucking uh, third choice. There's a fucking Kennedy running. But no, you, you would think that that, that fucking uh, Kennedy uh, 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 would be getting all of this shit on the right wing media uh, for his last name. It's the fucking lefty media uh, talking all of this trash. Uh, 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 about RFK. RFK has the number one most rock solid environmental agenda uh, of any presidential candidate who has ever run for fucking office uh, on, on this planet. And 99% of these fucking little limp dick lefties are completely unaware of it because every time fucking Huff Post or whatever vaccine skeptic uh, Robert Kennedy, uh, you know, for, for he has one fucking opinion, one fucking opinion about one subject. Okay, one fucking opinion about one fucking subject that doesn't make a fucking bit of fucking difference to this fucking planet on any fucking level. And that's all these fucking little limp dick lefties want to talk about is this one thing completely ignoring uh, this man's career. And it's shit like this that is the reason that Donald fucking Trump is going to walk 
into the fucking uh, White House. It's, it's that fucking Joe Biden won't get his fucking ass out of the way and and uh, and, and and give the fucking uh, Democratic ticket to RFK. You know, unfucking believable. That, that there's a fucking Kennedy uh, on, on the goddamn ballot and, 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 uh, and, and he's going to get 3% of the fucking vote. Anybody voting for Joe fucking Biden instead of RFK, you're a fucking pussy. You're a fucking limp dick fucking pussy. Got no fucking time for you. You fucking little, I got no fucking time for you. I got no fucking respect for you. You know? You're the motherfucker who's gonna put Donald Trump in the fucking White House. This you little fuck, limp dick, woke, uh, whatever lefties because with all of this satire, there is some truth in it. I'm not going to go over there and vote for fucking Donald Trump, but what he is talking about is true. There are a lot of people who, who meet this motherfucker's definition where it ain't satire. Okay? And it's not the hardcore democratic lefty values that sent these people over uh, over uh, licking Donald Trump's ass. It's little limp dicks like you with your fucking pronouns. You're fucking woke. You're, you're, you're fucking little electric cars. You're fucking solar panels. Uh, uh, all of this fucking bullshit. You're, you're fucking masks. You know? It's, it's you little limp dick lefty pussy mask Nazis that are putting fucking Donald Trump in the fucking White House. You make me fucking want to puke. You deserve every fucking thing you get, you little limp dick. Every fucking thing you get. Four more years of Donald Trump. And it's your fucking fault. Don't you fucking forget it. Do you have anything to add to this? I do love uh, good satire when I hear it. Bye, guys.